नारायणाय विमहे वायद्यराजाय धीमहे तन्नो विष्णु प्रचोदयात ओम सो द रोल ऑफ द जुपिटेरियन मेल एंड द रोल ऑफ द वेनुसियन फीमेल इन अ वैदिक मैरिज इज लाइक दिस द वुमन इज टू ब्रिंग लाइट from the stars to earth and how the woman can do this and not must do is by becoming a mother okay so for the vedic perspective becoming a mother can be is to be should be should be it's fine should be a sacred mission duty order okay so when a girl completes 12 years old she should be in a situation with a lot of other women around telling her two things what is, how many child you want to have and what do you believe okay so from 12 to 24 the woman the girl there should be with this primordial question what do i believe okay and when she completes 24 she is ready to be in a religion or in a church or in a philosophical system doesn't matter that she believes okay and within this uh context she will raise her hand and say everyone that has the same belief system that i have i want to have this amount of child okay and within that circle of men those men that have those, that kind of philosophy and want to be with that woman for having those number of kids that that woman want to have they are going to get married in the sense that they are going to reproduce that system that philosophy and so okay mm -hmm. so the purpose of getting married in the vedic culture is not to be happy and is not actually to have kids okay it's to serve the society within a philosophical point of view mm -hmm. okay and the role of men is the men should bring the energy from earth to the stars while the woman should bring the energy from the stars to the earth so it's true uh up and down of the same elevator mm -hmm. that's not a uh, better or worse okay so the man should be trained in a manner that after he complete 16 years the man it's a matures in a different manner okay mm -hmm. um the guys around will say look you're not a child anymore you need to become an adult okay because soon because soon you maybe will get married and you need to start to handle your testosterone okay because if mm -hmm. you don't learn how to handle this you're going just to be a person with a lot of age and is still a stupid adolescent teenager okay so after the guy completes 14 15 but for sure 16 <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> the other men around should pick this now not a teenager anymore okay even if he's 16 in from the vet perspective he's not a teenager anymore okay mm -hmm. and start to do a lot of physical exercise and metaphysical exercise so can, he can handle his testosterone problem mm -hmm. okay and from 16 to 24 he should be devoted mainly in becoming a, a becoming a man and not a stupid teenager with 25 65 or so <laughs> can go <laughs> so when those two are ready from their own point of view the man is 24 and the woman is 24 they had different tracks okay they can meet for the single purpose that we are ready to create a new round of the society 
If this new round is going to be one child or 10, it's the decision of the couple. Mm -hmm. it actually, it's the decision of the woman and the man will go along. Mm -hmm. And in this way, for the Ayurvedic perspective also, when the woman finished 24 and it's already with her higher degree in any university that she chose, she's going to stop working and studying and devote herself for the next two, three, four years, mainly for the motherhood, mm -hmm. where her body is still young and she did not start it, the working period in a professional sense, but mm -hmm. she's already with her basic formation graduation there. Okay. Mm -hmm. After two, three, four years of being a primordial mother, she can, if she wants, start to work outside house in a way that she already um, managed to be a mother. Mm -hmm. And it's not a very easy task. <laughs> <laughs> and the man, even if he is not uh, so close being also a mother of the children. He is prepared to understand that when the couple get married and get pregnant, the men will have to work by two or three or four to create the economic conditions so that the mother can devote herself to this very important spiritual moment that is to become a mother, mm -hmm. okay? So the main point of this is choosing a partner is not very safe if you don't ask yourself two things before that. One, how many child do I want to have? And this is an internal question. It's not your mother or it's not your husband or it's not your society that has to define that. It can be including zero. Mm -hmm. And the second question that it's more difficult to answer is, what is my belief system? Mm -hmm. Okay, Because if you start to discuss your belief system after you get married, all things are just going to hell. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's not going to be very easy. Okay, So yeah. what is the idea that a father marries two, two people or a monk or whatever? Is that these both two people are agreeing among themselves that when they have problem, they are going to go to that monk, they are going to go to that ministry, they are going to go to that father and say, look, we need counseling. We cannot solve our problems by ourselves. We are fighting like hell. Mm -hmm. okay? And because they previously have agreed that that guy or that institution or that leadership would be in the position to guide them, they are going to have the effort of not for deciding if it's your opinion or my opinion. It's an opinion of the church. It's an opinion of an instance that we both decided that it was valid before we were in a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it was an appropriate decision in the sense that with our emotions not destroying our lives. We said, this is a guidance that we should stick into it, okay? Because when we are in the river and the rafting is going on, we are stick to the rope and say, I'm going to go back to the boat anytime, don't worry, <laughs> okay? So the main point is, in the West, we try to become happy by marriage, okay? Yeah. And usually what happens, either we get divorced, either we get bored, <laughs> <laughs> but usually we are not most of the times, if you get a sincere evaluation, people are not actually happy in the marriage because they are brought into pheromonical because they are brought into sexual or interest yeah. when time changes. Those connections that were spur, that were uh, not long standing, they dissolve and the marriage is in an unstable ground. Okay? So if you want to get ha be happy, you just have a relationship with someone that is not married. 
being married and being happy, it's a huge challenge. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you have child, children, it's bigger than that. Okay? Yeah. So we get married in a way that we start to feel that our philosophical way of seeing things is stable. Mm -hmm. We are part of a community. And uh, reproducing beings, it's a way to reproduce the population of that society, of that way of view, viewing things. Mm -hmm. Let me close the recording. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. If you want to have some online consultations of Ayurveda, Jyotish, Yoga, Meditation, just see the description below and click in the link. Namaste.